All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back. Happy Friday Eve to you, otherwise known as Thursday. We got some goodies that came in today for sure. Um, had to switch up the camera angle a little bit here and really kind of pull back because we got a package that's here and we got another package here and we got some envelopes. So, um, the stuff here on top, these are uh, TTMs, and then this package down here is a purchase, which if you know what that tape is, then you probably already kind of know what that might be. Um, so we got some really, really cool stuff to show today. This is going to be our last one we're going to open. That one there. This is the other one where I said uh, I was sending out some stuff and hoping to get some, some cool stuff back. That's what this is here. I have not opened this one at all. So this is going to be a nice surprise for me and for you at the same time. And then we've got three TTMs to open. Um, this is one that actually came in yesterday and then these two came in today. So um, we're going to go ahead and hop right to it. So let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and start out with our return here out of Canada. This, uh, as I said, came in yesterday. No clue what it is um, because of the fact it's Canada. Don't really have a good way to get a sense of a zip code or an area that it came from. So this is going to be a surprise for you and I alike. All right, nice. Tommy Caberlet. Tommy was most well known for his time with the Toronto Maple Leafs, but also... Spent some time with the Carolina Hurricanes and also some time with the Montreal Canadiens and also the Boston Bruins. And he actually won a Stanley Cup with the Bruins. Sorry that everything is so far down low. I had to kind of keep it so there's some distance here um, just because of the need for it later on in the video. So we'll kind of bring these up a little bit closer. But uh, Tommy signed a nice four out of four for me. A nice uh, Hurricanes pinnacle card. Um, this was actually a Montreal Canadian set that was done through McDonald's. I believe it was with McDonald's. Or no, maybe not. Maybe it was just a set. Uh, but it was all a Montreal Canadiens team set. Um, cool tops total. I love that Toronto St. Pat's jersey there. I actually own one of those. It's really kind of cool jersey. And then an SPX Hurricanes card. So a nice four out of four return from Tommy Caberlet. And for coming back and forth from Canada, that was only out for mm, maybe three, four weeks. So not too bad at all. All right. Up next, Reno, Nevada. Uh, I got a couple of things that are out in Reno. Um, but based on what I have out there, I think I know what this one is going to be. And I think it's going to be a hockey return. Yes, it is. Clint Malachuk um, sent out... Kind of a little bit of everything from the career there. And uh, Clint knocked it out of the park for me. So we've got his 90-91 score. His 90-91 upper deck. His, and I always forget the years. 88-89 Opeachy. You see the bright color on there. 88-89 Opeachy. Um, the 06-07 Parkhurst, which unfortunately he smeared that one. And then uh, one of his Between the Pipes. So a nice 5 of 5 return from Clint. Um, maybe at some point down the line I'll resend that card out just to get it signed again. Um, only because I really like that set and I've been working on it. But everything else came out beautifully. Um, quick turnaround time. Uh, less than two weeks on that for Mallorchuk. So good, good stuff. Alright. And then our third return of our traditional TTMs. I think I know which one this one is, just based on the stamp there. I've got a pretty good feeling. And if it is who I think it is, and if this is a success, um, I'll tell you a little funny story about this person. And yes, it is Dan Cleary. So here's the thing with Dan Cleary. Um, for anybody that has graphed in person, um, experiences with Dan Cleary have always been very interesting um he was very much a very surly kind of guy um i don't know why um he he just was uh a guy that was just very um i i guess gosh i, I don't even want to say like pissy or anything but he just like 
just was over it, overdoing any kind of autographs. And um, it was a piece of work for me to get him uh, for my 2000, 2001 Upper Deck Vintage set. Um, that was a set that I was working on and still working on. Uh, and he was at the time like one of like a dozen people that I needed in the set. I'm, I'm down to single numbers now. Um, but I had driven to see him at a game and had a chance to get him after the morning skate. And it really, I had to really break the guy down to get him to just sign the one card for me, which he did eventually. But, um, you know, just after that had happened and I had talked about the experience with some other people. Um, they all kind of agreed with me that, yeah, for whatever reason, and maybe he's just a guy that's just not very personable in person, but signs great through the mail, um, but he was not a pleasant signer through the mail, or in person. Um, so I was really kind of shocked when I saw how good he was uh, returning stuff through the mail. Um, so it, it was kind of interesting. Um, I do have to say, though, I the autograph looks a little interesting here. Um, I, I'm going to want to take a closer look at it just because that, to my recollection, that doesn't look like a Cleary autograph that I got in person. Um, I'll have to take a look at it, but I know a lot of people have been getting them back and nobody's been saying anything otherwise, but I do want to take a look because I got to wonder, are these signed legit or not? Um, but it's something I'll just have to take a look at. So for the time being, we are going to chalk it up as a return unless I can do, um, anything to say otherwise. And the 1011 score set, that is one that I've still been actively working on. The uh, Oilers upper deck set, um, I picked up some of these a couple of years back, so I've been working on those. And then a couple of the OPG retros, which are just always really cool to get signed. So, for our traditional TTMs, uh, you know, we ended up three for three on the day. Um, grand total of 13 graphs. So, good start with all that. So now, let's move on to our bigger packages. So, um, I saw this was coming in. This actually came in earlier than expected. I wasn't expecting this until tomorrow, but it did show up. Um, but as you can see, got it marked, do not bend, do not bend. Um, the size is very similar to a package that I got back from Richard Petty the other day. So, um, that's your little tip there of what this could be. And got my X-Acto knife. I just don't want to accidentally potentially cut something. So let's see here. There we go. All right. And boom, success. Dual success. Michael Andretti, IndyCar racer. We, uh, he had a pop that came out a month or two back, and I it was really cool looking. It was from one of his indie wins, the one where he's uh, wearing the all white race suit, and um, he um, uh, the all white waist uh, race suit, and he's holding the uh, the flower bouquet. So um, I went ahead and wanted to send these out, and. Um, Wanted to get two of them done, um, so went ahead and sent those out. Um, I kind of did the same thing like I did with the Richard Bettys, where I wrote on the back, just so that they know not to accidentally sign on the back, but signed a nice two of two in a blue paint pen there. I saw where he was doing some red earlier, um, so he switched over to blue, and that's totally cool with me, but an awesome, awesome uh, return there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these boxed up and on my next video, I'll show an example of how they, how one of them looks uh, all nice and boxed up just so you can see, but also awesome return. And these came back lightning fast. We're talking like these were, I sent these out the same day as the Richard Petty's and Petty's only took like eight or nine days. So, um, that one there only took, um, gosh, less than two weeks. So... On to the last one here. All right. So, uh, actually, there were two tips on this one. One is, if you take a look, it's coming from the Fluffy Shop and the silhouette there. So, um, for those of you that follow comedy, one of the most popular comedians on the planet, Gabriel Iglesias. Um, I saw the other day that he had put some stuff up for sale on his website. 
and I wanted to go ahead and make a purchase. So, what we got here, and I like it. They're individually packed. They got bubble wrap with it. So this is all good, good stuff. And, come on, open up for me. All right, boom. Signed Gabriel Iglesias Pop and signed in white. And these are only available through his website. Um, so as you can see, I got the first one as well, which is number 01. Um, and I've got one of those signed in like purple. So I went ahead, you could order two of them. So that's exactly what I did. And oh wow, and so you can kind of look the one on the left here pops even more than the one on the right. Um, so I wanted to order two of them uh, just because with the combined shipping, it really wasn't that much more. Um, you know, they're not they're not hella cheap, but I mean, for what you're getting for that, um, it's a good deal for it. And um, hopefully I can trade out maybe one of these to somebody because I did miss his uh, Day of the Dead pop that he did. It was a very, very limited run, but um, hopefully maybe somebody out there will have one that they uh, would want to trade that they missed out on this one. So we'll see. Um, but this is awesome to uh, get added into the collection. I I've actually been fortunate. I've met Gabriel before. Um, total, total down-to-earth guy. Really, really humble guy. So uh, uh, happy to add this into the collection here. So uh, <laughs> it's funny because on the day, we've now added in four signed pops all together. So that's pretty darn cool. So um, let's do a little bit of a recap here and show kind of everything that we got on the day. So let's see here. Try my best with this. So we got the two Michael Andretti Pops. We got the two Gabriel Iglesias Pops. And then we got our 4 of 4 out of Tommy Caberlet. Uh, we got the 5 out of 5 from Clint Malachuk. And then the 4 out of 4 from Dan Cleary. So, pretty cool stuff today, I must say. Um, I'm especially stoked with the pops there. Um, that was uh, really, really cool to get that done. Um, sorry, just retracting the X-Acto knife there. Don't want to accidentally stab myself. So, um, yeah, that's the goodies there. Um, hopefully we'll have some more cool stuff that'll be coming up here in the upcoming days. Um, I am going to do some in-person autographing this weekend. Um, and maybe on, uh, first video of next week, I'll, I'll show off, uh, what I got signed. Um, so that you guys can kind of see the other side of it, you know, not just TTMing, but also when you can do some, uh, in-person stuff. Um, what's out there it should be a really cool opportunity i don't want to give anything away because i don't want to jinx it um but um it is kind of sort of like a paid signing type deal but i'm um, hoping that i can get an extra item or two signed as well um so more to come with that but for today we'll uh we'll wrap things up so uh thanks everyone for watching as always uh, i appreciate you tuning in um definitely like and subscribe to the videos uh if you like what you see and you want to see more of it and certainly uh leave me any kind of comments or feedback that you want um i'm always appreciative of that and uh hopefully we'll get another video up here in the next day or so so uh thanks again so much for watching everybody stay safe out there have fun as we get closer to the weekend and hope your mailboxes are staying full of ink until next time see ya